<clears throat> okay. So hey y'all. <laughs> doing today <coughs> I hope your day is going great today's video is going to be 10 things to avoid your freshman year slash 10 things not to do your freshman year so pretty much just don't do these things I'm about to say number one taking 8 a.m.s I have had my fair share of 8 a.m.s. This is my third year academically of college, and 8 a.m.s suck. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It sucks getting up in the morning. My brain personally doesn't even function at 8 a.m. in the morning. Literally, I had an 8 a.m. that I was late to every single class and that doesn't look good on you especially to the professor they might think that you don't care so try to avoid 8 a.m.s i promise you some of my friends have failed because of 8 a.m. because they could not make it to class and it's just just don't do it to yourself even if you're like oh yeah i'll get it out of the way and then i'll have the rest of the day but if you don't even make it to class are you really being productive Number two, skipping class. I can't stress this enough. I know that once you get to college, you have nobody on your back telling you to go to class all the time. Try not to skip class. I know some days you'll get up and be like, oh, I just don't feel like it, or I really don't need to go to this class. I recommend you 110% to go to class because there can be that one day that your professor is feeling, you know, generous and will be like, oh, okay, since there's nobody in this class, whoever is here, you guys are gonna get extra credit. And then you would miss out because you didn't go. Or something else that could happen is your professor can be like, all right, class, everybody put your books away and we're gonna have a quiz. And you won't be there to take the quiz and then you'll get a zero and your grade will suffer and nobody wants that. Number three, try to avoid not getting involved. Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, fill it out. I'll get involved next year or I'll get involved later or I don't wanna get involved. But I think that everybody watching this video should get involved with their college for a whole bunch of reasons. One being you'll be involved with your school and it'll be much more fun that way. When you're not doing anything in college but going to class, it can be kind of boring, the school part of it. When you're involved, you meet people, you have a lot more fun in school, and you'll actually like love college. You'll love your college experience. When you're not involved and not doing anything, it can make college not that fun. Because going to class already in college is not that great. But when you're involved in your school, it makes everything so much better. Whether that be getting into a club or joining a sport or, you know, being a little RA or something that who runs like your little a floor of a dorm. When you get to your school, you wanna let your name be known right away so that you can like meet people, meet your longtime friends, maybe even meet the love of your life, I don't know. Number four, this is kind of attached to what I said before about not getting involved. When you live in your dorms, there's usually an RA who lives on every floor and they're kind of in charge of the students on the floor and they usually call mandatory floor meetings, which they're not really mandatory. Like I didn't go to a couple of them. You don't get penalized. I recommend to go to them. I say this because when you go to your floor meeting, 
you will meet the people who are living on your floor and then you get to know your RA and that's always a plus because if you get in trouble in the future you'll know your RA and you know things will be Gucci and then you can just meet friends and know people who actually live on your floor maybe you'll meet somebody who has the same major as you and you can study with them and it's convenient because they're on your floor you never know so just go to the floor meetings so number five this one's kind of tricky but it's to not get attached I'm not just talking to girls I'm this could also be a, a guy thing when you get to college everything is so new you can be anybody you want to. You don't have to be the same person that you were in high school. Nobody knows you here. You could be a completely different person. Usually when people get here, they get attached to the first people they meet. And that can be friends or someone that you're talking to. Ugh, this is hard to explain. Don't get attached to somebody that you just start talking to. Quick tip. If you are a freshman and there's an older guy trying to talk to you, sweetie, I promise you, he does not love you, okay? And I'm not saying all boys, but majority of the time, boys in college are just trying to get... Guys just want to smash. So... Don't get attached, honey, because in college, I promise you, if you do that, you will have a lot of heartbreaks. I don't know, you can avoid that too by maybe not sleeping with somebody or just not giving something up too easily or being gullible. Like, do not believe everything that a guy says to you or a girl because they could just be wanting one thing and they don't really care about your feelings and you're new on campus, so you know, you're like, fresh meat. I don't know. I'm saying this because I've seen this a lot with a couple of my friends who would come up to me and have major problems because they think they like a guy or they really do like a guy and they end up just hurting them over and over and over again because they don't like see the signs. Like personally me, I already know like what's up. Like especially since I'm a cheerleader there are so many guys trying to get with you on the football team and on the basketball team and you kind of just have to be like i know what you're doing and you're not doing it to me know your worth and know that there are guys out there who are going to treat you right but college i feel like in college just don't get attached don't get into relationships because Nine times out of 10, they don't really last. Number six, do not buy textbooks. Do not buy textbooks. I will say it one more time. Do not buy textbooks, okay? Don't do it because sometimes, like on the syllabus, it'll have a section where it says required textbooks. And I feel like you should go to class and ask the professor if you will even need the textbook because I remember I bought a textbook that said required and that the teacher said that I would need. And I never even opened the textbook. Don't buy the textbook. Just wait and see if you will actually need the textbook. When you know you need the textbook, do not buy the textbook. See if you can get it online, like for free. A lot of textbooks are online for free these days. I remember I asked my teammates because a lot of them had taken some of the classes that I needed to take and they had the textbook. So I just got it from them, you know, buy used textbooks. Oh my God, my hair keeps getting in my face I'm gonna tie it up whatever more of the story is don't buy the textbook unless you really know that you need it and then even then don't buy it from your bookstore because they're overly priced and they're just trying to fool you my friend they're really just trying to finesse you out of all of your money because that's what college does 
look online for the textbook, Amazon, or sometimes there'll be free PDFs. Get the textbook from your friends. Don't buy it before you actually know that you actually need it. Boom. Seven, try to avoid not calling your grandparents slash parents. I know a lot of college students get carried away with, you know, their life, their new life of freedom. And sometimes they don't know how to act and they don't know how to call their mom and grandparents. I call my mom every day. My mom is my best friend. But I know personally, I could call my grandparents a lot more. And not to get sappy, not to get sappy, not to get sappy. But your grandparents, by the time you're in college, most people's grandparents are getting old. They're not as young as they were before. There's gonna be a time where they're not around anymore. And you're gonna really regret not calling and talking to them when you could have. So, same thing with your parents. Like. They've raised you, they have done everything for you, got you to this point in life, and I just feel like you need to call them. Tell them that you love them because you'll regret it when they're gone and you'll wish that you would have spoke to them more and just call your grandparents. Matter of fact, if you're watching this video, pause it and call your grandparents because trust me, they love hearing your voice, they love you, they wanna know how you're doing, and just call them. Number eight, try to avoid staying in your dorm room. If you're anything like me, sometimes you have some social anxiety. You know what happens. Try to avoid being in your dorm all the time when you first get to campus because if you're in your room you can't meet people and not even lie to you if you don't meet your friends as soon as you get here it's kind of harder to meet friends when school has already started because everybody already has their friends that they met the more time you spend out of your dorm is more opportunities number nine sit in the front of your class when you sit in the front Nine times out of ten, you will pay attention and actually grasp the information that is being taught to you. And I know sometimes it can be a little intimidating to sit in front of your class. So if you don't want to sit directly in front of your class, what I do is I sit towards the middle of my class. Just avoid sitting in the back all in all. But if you can, just sit in the very front or sit towards the middle so that all your attention is directed like towards the board, towards your professor, and your professor will see you, see your face, you know, ask questions. Your questions will probably get answered more if you're sitting in the front or in the middle. I know when I sit like off to the side or in the back, I tend to not pay attention. So that's why I completely stopped sitting anywhere but the front and the middle because it makes me pay a lot more attention and know the material that we are learning for that class. And number 10. So I'm gonna go mom mode on all of you guys. Don't do drugs. You are going to be exposed to everything. I was gonna say so many things, but you're going to be exposed to everything. Your parents are not here. Nobody's here to tell you no. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of peer pressure there's gonna be everybody saying, oh yeah, try this, try that, you know, drink this, drink that. I don't know, I feel like all college students drink, so like, I'm not gonna tell you do not drink because like, I don't know, I, I mean, if you do that, sis, go right ahead. But I will tell you not to do drugs because drugs can be laced. You can get something that you didn't think was gonna have a certain effect on you and it can have the worst effect on you, and honestly, it can ruin your life. I know a couple people who have taken bad drugs and are literally not the same anymore, so just really be careful. You'll be exposed to crack, crack, and cocaine, and 
Molly. And I said, like, you can literally get anything on the college campus. It's kind of sad, but just be careful and try not to do the drugs. So that is the end of this video. If you liked it, to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any other tips or advice that you would like to share, put them in the comments below. I will read them. I can use all the help I can get. That's one of the reasons why I started this channel, to help people out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and yeah, have a blessed day.